Hello everybody, I filmed a video the other day about Icon Composer um, where I covered some of the features. Now that I've had screwdriver, now that I've had some time to like dig into it and understand it a bit more, I wanted to do a better video showing you a bit more how to use it, how to input your apps into Xcode, how that sort of stuff. I have tried uploading it to two apps to connect, but I've been unsuccessful. So if anybody knows how to do that, please leave that down below because that's something I need to know. Um, okay, so as you can see here, we got the icons. So essentially, I've just used an SF symbol. If I can find the SF symbol, um, I want to say it's like file. As you can see, the computer is not very happy. So it's just a document file. It's just one of these, isn't it? Um, it's just this one. I just picked this SF symbol and it's here. And essentially, I've just imported it. It's quite simple. Let's import something else. So say you wanted to import this additional symbol here. You copy as. I saved it as PNG. I found PNG works better than a SVG for some reason. And I just click image and then I just paste and enter. And there you go. To be fair, that looks quite cool. Um, you could drag that into its own group so that you could sort of set it back. So let's say we want to set it back. So if you're on here, you get options about that specific item to do with blend mode, fill mode. So you want to do solid or gradient, automatic, um, effect. You can click the little plus and you can do different variations. You can do a different variation for Mac OS, iOS, or default variations. So you can have all these different options, which I thought is quite clever, that they've sort of given you the option to just expand it out really easily. And they've just made it, most of these have got a different variation. So you can do that. Um, let's do the opacity. Let's bring it down. You sort of drag, you click and drag down or up with the mouse. I'm not sure what I think about that as a feature because you can just sort of type in a value, but I don't know what I think. This is default, we can go all, oh, what the fuck's the difference? I don't know. Um, iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS allows you to show where you're going to be putting it. That's just giving that configuration. Because down here you can just click to see what it's going to look like in round and regular dark mode. Mono mode. To be fair, I'm liking this. I'm liking this look. We've sort of layered the files. Okay, um, you can adjust the like glass looks. A bit more obvious now. Um, and you can just change the size of how big the icon is that you're viewing. This gives you the sort of grid. Um, I don't know if you've ever. I don't know if I've got it here. Hold on. Um, I don't know if you've ever had an application installed that doesn't have... If you ever installed an application that doesn't have an icon, you get an app grid, which I think is really funny, and it's just that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, that's what you get for there. You can set a background. For some reason, you can only set this background. I don't know. Why have we only got this as an option? Why is there no import or anything like that? Or you can just go back to this. Light, dark, turn it off. If you click on the groups, okay, so in the group, if you click on the group, you now have blend and control options for everything within that group. So this gives you all the liquid mode, uh, individual or combined. How is it treating all of the objects? Are they a combined object or are they individual? Do you want it to be specular, blur? What if we add a blur? I think we want a heart. I think they want, I don't want this blur. Translucency. How translucent, so say you want something like that. Okay, so let's give it a sort of depth feel. Maybe actually we want this group to be at the top. Okay, so there you go. So let's put it further back. So the higher up they are in here towards the, t the top, the closer they are to the audience, so the user. So they're sort of layered like that. So we've sort of done it like that. Okay, that's interesting. I'd have done it the other way around, the further down it was. Um, shadow, natural, how much shadow do you want? Uh, maybe we give a bit of blur now. Maybe a bit more like that. Something like that. Just, just give it the sort of depth. Individual, stuff like that. So you can configure all of that. Um, and up here, of course, you do the background. There is a gradient there. It's not very noticeable. We're going to get more blue. There you go. That's noticeable. So to import the app into your application, not app, the icon into your application, literally drag... The dot icon, the the icon composer file that you've saved into your Xcode project. So I did that. And then in Xcode, in the projects thing, 
I went down here to app icon and changed it to the name of the dot app icon file. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I've done it and it appears to work. It's done it. I don't think I'll be able to run this. I might be able to run it designed for iPad on the iPad. My simulator's broken for some reason, so I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, it's quite simple. If you actually jump into an icon compose app, you can see it's got your assets there and it's got like this icon of I've opened both versions of Xcode. It won't be very happy about that. Um, if you open it in Xcode beta, you can just see it's JSON. Defining all of the sort of parameters you configured. So you can just, um, I don't know, edit this yourself manually if you wanted to. If you wanted to just change how it looked. You can just add custom configuration. But I think that's quite clever that it's just basically um, a JSON structure. That you could edit if you wanted to. So some somebody might write some code out there to build that. But yeah, has this built there? Come on, attaching documents. I give up. I'm not waiting for it. But um, I just thought I'd show you. I just thought I'd show you this because in the other video I did a bit of copying and pasting of the app icon. I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do. Ah, more features. Hold on, I got more features. If you go up here to file, you can export the application as a flat render of what it's supposed to be. Pick a platform, pick an appearance, pick an angle, all that sort of stuff, size. And you can just export it in all these different variants. Um, what else can you do? There's not much else up here. Um, you can disable the effects, stuff like that. But that's about it. Okay, perfect. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.